Good evening. This is Tiffany Leonga Buya, DZFE Station Manager, again welcoming you to our 66th anniversary soiree series, To Music. Thanks to all the home performance contributions of our artists, we are now looking forward to part three. Now our series is called To Music, and in commending music, I would like to borrow the words of German reformer Martin Luther. I would certainly like to praise music with all my heart as the excellent gift of God which it is. For whether you wish to comfort the sad, to terrify the happy, to encourage the despairing, to humble the proud, to calm the passionate, or to appease those full of hate. And who could number all these masters of the human heart, namely the emotions, inclinations, and affections that impel men to evil or good? What more effective means than music could you find? But, he wrote, when musical learning is added to all this, and artistic music, which corrects, develops, and refines a natural music, then at last it is possible to taste with wonder God's absolute and perfect wisdom in his wondrous work of music. We find this on tonight's program, featuring pianist Rudolf Goles, baritone Andrew Fernando, the duo of cellist Nam Kyung Min and pianist Ding Dong Fiel, the Viancico Vocal Ensemble, directed by Beverly Shan Kwan Cheng, harpist Joanne Serdania, guitarist Monching Carpio, members of the Clarion Chamber Ensemble, and to close our evening with jazz, the Simon Tan Trio. May the program enrich and inspire. Hello friends, welcome to my home in Cebu City. My name is Rudolf Goles, I'm a pianist, and it's my honor and pleasure to dedicate this performance to DZFE, who has supported artists all through the years, here in Philippines and abroad, and in my numerous occasions, they have also supported me in my concerts in Manila. And we are living in a unprecedented times at the moment, and we artists mirror the times that we live in. And we mirror it through our art, through our reproduction of what we do, in this case classical music, music composed 200 years ago, some more. And what's fascinating is that music is alive at the moment. At every moment in history, the music is speaking to us. While it speaks to us, it also reflects the life we have at the moment. And at the moment, we have questions more than answers. We have a lot of time to think of what is it that makes life worth living? What is truly important? And what can we do about it? But as I said, we have more questions than answers. And sometimes we can do nothing but wait and have faith that all will be well in the end. And somehow our questions will have answers. This Mazurka in B minor, Op. 33, number 4, is one such music that reflects more questions than answers. And unlike other musics, it doesn't really give answers. So it is apt for the times that we live in the moment. And somehow it is a comfort that indeed there was a time in history that mirrors the time we live in at the moment. And somehow we can connect to that time and to that to that life in Chopin's music. 
This is the Mazurka in B minor opus, Project 3, number 4.
Happy 66th anniversary, DZFE. Thank you for keeping us around with classical music and our daily bread of life. I'm going to play a masterpiece by Edward Elgar, Salute Amor, Opus Number 12. I hope to give different energy to our current depressed situation. God bless you.
Hello, my name is Beverly Shangquan Cheng, and on behalf of the Big and Sika Vocal Ensemble, I would like to thank DZFE for your indescribable support to our group all these years through the Bamboo Only Festival. And just like in the festival, we would like to sing for you a piece of early music, a setting of Psalm 121 by Orlando Di Lasso, entitled Levavi Oculos Meos. Let me read to you a bit of the translation. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. Happy anniversary, DCFE.
In the third and final part of DZFE's interview with our first Filipino station manager, Joy Dulaca Abiera, she shares with Tiffany the impact that DZFE has had on her and on her listeners. One of the things that really surprises me, and I just thank the Lord, is that every time I come home, I'll go to a party or to a concert, and somebody would come to me and say, that they would introduce me, and she said, how come I know you? I said, my name is Joy Dulaca Abiera, I said. And she said, yeah, I know you. How come I know you? I said, I left the country almost 30 years ago. I mm. said, I left in 79. He said, but I really know you. That voice is so familiar. So my cousin who was sitting next to me, oh, maybe you were listening to Faris Broadcasting. Are you busy? You are Joy Dulaca. <laughs> so, you know, and that's a long time ago. I did not realize that one of my best listeners are the department heads of colleges of music, like St. Mary's College, like UP. I didn't realize that they would assign, no wonder they asked me, Ano pag mo mamayang gabi sa music of the month? Oy, sabi ko, teka muna, let me look. Then I'll tell them I talk about ballet, I talk about this orchestra. I didn't realize that they will assign that to their students and listen at the time, and mm -hmm. that will be part of their lecture. Only when I came back did I understand because I met some of those students. And then, of course, one of our biggest fans was Imelda Marcos, and she's just excited. She keeps on saying, oh, every time there's a new artist or a new composition, she always tells her secretary, oh, tawagan niyo si Joy para i-record natin yan. Something like that, you know. She wanted the Filipino community to, to hear it. I never expected that DZFE would have such an impact when even the first lady would call you. And who would who would think that that would happen to a young person that went to college in a little university town, you know? But God has used that. God is just so wonderful in you know, the little things that we do, how he honors you, you know, mm -hmm. and gives you all the wisdom. To this day, I... I even, because I have some scripts that I brought with me, and I look at that, I said, how did I even know that? You just are overwhelmed. The most important to me, and I, I don't want to be misunderstood, was uh, our listeners were not only the Christians. All we did was to do some vignettes that we would play in between. Mm -hmm. And you don't realize how much that has spoken to those people who listen to the music. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that I prayed each day when I go to office, I said, Lord, help me choose a vignette that will fit what I'm playing on the air. Mm -hmm. A lot, especially operas and things that some of the stories are bad. Some <laughs> of the stories are Pretty bad. racy. Yeah, and then you, you play a vignette. And my prayer was always be, Lord, show me the right thing yet. So we had people like Harold Saylor would do that. And then we had Chuck Swindoll. And among the Filipinos, we had Ramon Sanchez that would that wrote. And then a lot of those vignettes have helped. For example, I have a young priest going to school. And he wrote to me, I love all the music that you play. And I really appreciate how you make my evenings worth it. But more than anything else, I'm so overwhelmed by those little messages that you put on the air. And, you know, that encourages you. To this day, I still thank God about my stint with DZFE because I had a chance to be able to speak to people that I will probably never have a chance to share with them the gospel. I never realized how radio can create an evangelistic impact because you don't see people. I have never been exposed to that until I started to get those letters, you know, and I said, oh my gosh, I mean, it has changed my whole outlook. That's why, you know, one of the things that I want to say is that you never doubt the power of a living God. As a child, the closest thing that we had to a musical instrument was a radio. 
So my siblings and I would love to listen to DZFE's programs. And I believe that it has made a great impact in my life. It is not only a music station, but a great reminder of God's love, faithfulness, and saving grace. Thank you, DZFE, and happy anniversary. Like Paul, I am confident that he who began a good work in you carried on to completion. God bless you. Happy 66th anniversary, DZFE. Uh, wish you all the best and thank you for your contributions in promoting uh, classical music here in the Philippines and for showcasing uh, Filipino talents. And thank you for being part of my journey as a classical musician. Uh, I'll be playing uh, Andrew York's uh, Waiting for Dawn and may this piece bring hope to everyone. Uh, amidst all of the things that we're going through right now, uh, it's tough, but we should never lose hope. So here's to better days ahead.
Zephy, happy 66th anniversary. And that is the third evening of our 66th anniversary soiree series, To Music. Thanks for joining us. We have one more program yet. The finale of our series premieres 8 o'clock in the evening, Friday, June 12th. If you've missed the preceding programs in this series, you can find them among the videos on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Do visit us online at dcfe.febc.ph for details. And to help sustain the station, please go to dcfe.febc.ph support. Friends, good night. Good night.